everyone, it's Cheesy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to talk about YouTube chapter markers and what are they? YouTube chapter markers. What are YouTube chapter markers? The chapter markers break up your videos into sections with timestamps, each with an individual preview. YouTube chapter markers can help your viewers by giving them more information or insight and contents by allowing them to watch or watch different parts of the video. Chapters make video much easier to navigate, especially your long videos. Remember, when creators add chapter information to their video description, that is exactly when it adds up automatically on the video. How do we do that? You go to your YouTube studio on that particular video or during your upload. How to go about it? The first timestamp has to map has to be marked zero 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 okay so when you type it zero minutes zero zero seconds okay followed by a space then chapter title okay zero is to zero zero space maybe what is chapter marker okay And when you finish, you do what you save your changes, okay? This feature is going to increase the engagement of your viewers on that video, okay? Or on some of your videos. And, you know, it will make them not to be frustrated, you know, scrolling through your video, the thing is no more interesting to them. So, it will make them to just... Um, Instead of clicking out, they will switch to a particular one that got their interest. Chapter markers can reduce the watch time as viewers only watch a particular section of the video instead of the full content, depending on how engaging the video is. If it's engaging, they're going to watch it all. But if it's not, maybe they're going to select those ones that interest them most. This new feature will not impact video recommendation. It's just to help engage your viewers on your video other things that i noticed that could make your timestamps not to work or disrupt the timestamp from showing on your video one is when you type in your timestamps if you are not spacing it out for minutes if you write everything together it could disrupt the appearance of the timestamps okay make sure you space out zero 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 without any space that's if you write okay after the hours or minutes space out before you write your title okay of the chapters so this is how to do after the time space title after the time space title another thing i notice is like when you're introducing or when you're explaining your titles okay like i said here introduction to channel growth this is all i want to talk about about the first thing the first chapter if i come under here and type zero zero if i type in the timestamp here if I type in this timestamp time here, it's going to affect the video. It's going to affect the video. It's, it's not going to show. So this is another thing I noticed that could disrupt because a lot of people have been asking these questions. So these are example of things that can make your timestamps not to show up on your video. Don't try to put the timestamps if you're going to explain your chapters this one is enough okay so you can state your timestamps or chapters like this it will pop out if you want to explain it like this like mine you first of all you know elaborate it like this state it out first and then you explain your chapters okay but never you put the timestamps in your description when explaining this will stop it from showing up in your video okay Another thing I noticed is that if someone comes maybe on the comment section and maybe write something maybe to tell you that, oh, um, host, I love this section or this chapter, what you discussed, it was really interesting. Or maybe, for instance, after writing whatever she's writing or he might, you know, putting a timestamp on it, okay? 
maybe to highlight the particular um, place that she read that maybe telling you that I love this um, chapter or something like that okay I love this chapter I mean that is a highlight is this if somebody put this on your comment section it can disrupt the um, the video okay you can disrupt that so don't do that these are the things I noticed that could stop you know um, the timestamp from working any random placement of the timestamp is going to stop it from playing on the video so these are the things we have to avoid for us to you know for us to not to have any problem with our videos okay so work towards that take care of your timestamps make sure you don't put unnecessary timestamps here and there it's gonna work okay I have a tutorial video check out this video here you're gonna learn more on how to go about it i did a step-by-step -step, you know preview on how to do those chapter markers on your video so check it out follow the instruction you're gonna do yours for your video thank you guys for watching and this is the end and check out for the next video it's coming up next week tuesday bye ciao ciao, ciao. i see you guys next love you all